doing, sir? That'll work. I'm putting the floor, I'm putting the floor down. You like them apples? I like it. Look at there. We're not gonna have to fall through the floor twice anymore. <laughs> adhesive under each one to keep it from Blue. keep it from creaking and groaning. Yeah. Well, as you can see, since how we stained yesterday, of course, we're gonna have a tremendous thunderstorm today, even though it wasn't predicted. Lance was out here, started on putting in the floor, and I came out here to see if I could video a little bit when I got a break in the rain, and this is what I found. He's almost got the whole thing done. I got one little piece on the wall. That's what I like. He's a man who knows how to work. <laughs> I'm retired tonight. Yes, you are. Your knees okay? Yeah. I just can't squat down. I'm getting cramps in my legs. <laughs> we have a floor. Look at this. No this more. Why we didn't put the floor in earlier? No more falling through the floor joists. No more falling through the floor joists. Why is why we didn't put it in earlier? Because the rain. Oh yeah, we didn't want it from, from September a year ago. Yeah, that would have been run. Well, and we had two floor joists: one that warped upwards considerably, and one that went down. Yeah. So we had to plane one of them off and jack the other one up a little bit. So no telling what would have happened if we'd already had the floor down. I don't know if that would have made it better or worse, but would have definitely been harder to fix. There's not a nail in this house, lady. <laughs> <laughs> it's just because you couldn't find your nailer. <laughs> I've got a boss framing gun somewhere in the garage. In the mess. Underneath in, everything. In the cabin hoard somewhere. What's amazing about this is that we planned this where the wall blocking that this was set into was gonna come out the same height as the subfloor. And looky there, it did. So now our flooring will go up under the wall, hopefully, if we measured that right. And we won't have to trim, put much trim on it. No, no trim. No trim, hopefully. It's gonna be fine all the way. One more piece. One more piece. Pencil. <laughs> I can't help it. Oh, there's a good one right there. There you go. That looks good. Oh. I'll make some basil, tomato basil chicken tonight with spaghetti. Take some chicken tenders. 
these are little cavenders on them, cavender seasoning, or you can use Italian seasoning and some salt and pepper. Brown those up good. boiling and then this is pesto that I made last year have it in the freezer you can also make this with fresh basil if you have it mine is not doing well this year it's been too hot so had to break out the pesto. This looks a lot prettier if you use fresh basil, but it still tastes just as good. Maybe a little better because it has all the pine nuts and everything already in it. supper. Basil chicken, tomato basil chicken, and a nice fresh salad, mostly out of the garden. And you got to have a glass of wine. Somebody put the whole floor in the cabin today. Well, we're not quite ready to start decorating the cabin quite yet, but uh, Cindy got this in a while back and she's really excited to show it to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and start unwrapping it. It's a carved longhorn skull that we got from Skull Bliss. And uh, we're planning on hanging it above the front door in the cabin. And as you can see, it's, it's uh, packed really, really well. And the horns are just absolutely well, beautiful. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah. They had it wrapped even better than this when we got it, but we yeah. had to open it up and look at it. Well, look at the colors in that. Yeah. That's going to match the cabin good. It's going to be really pretty. Yeah. But you can't wait to see the skull. It is amazing. Oh, my goodness. Look at the... I got the one with the feathers. Look at the detailing in that. It's just beautiful. And these are all hand-carved by um, some craftsmen in Bali. And uh, what I liked about them is that they're ethically sourced. They don't kill animals just for the horns. These are like a byproduct of the, the local farming. And uh, they take something that would normally go to waste and make something really beautiful out of it. And to me, that kind of shows respect for the animal. You have to make sure you get the right horn. There you go. <laughs> they just, it the right way. Yeah, they just slide right on there when you get the right ones. I guess I had the right one, didn't I? Mm -hmm. All right, so let me get the horns on there. You do have to figure out which way they go. They yeah. only go on one way. There we go. And they just slide on really snug. Yeah. The 
boys were really fascinated with this thing. <laughs> I said, what in the world have you got, Dad? <laughs> I don't have them quite on all the way. Yeah, he'll shove them on tighter later, but, but look at that. Awesome. Isn't that awesome? It's really beautiful. I think it's gonna look amazing. It has a piece of wood that you can put behind it to hang it on too. But... Yeah, we'll show you that later when we yeah. hang it. But uh, they're actually really easy to hang. You can hang them just with the wire on the back or with a plaque that you can get to go behind it. Yeah. So we'll put a, a link to this in our video description and also a, a coupon code. They have all kinds of different designs and patterns and uh, that you can choose from. So they're really beautiful and I'm super excited. I think it's going to be like the centerpiece of the room when we get it in there. Well, it's got the end all caulked and insulated. Put a little spray foam in anywhere there was a little gap. Put a lot of spray foam in a couple places. Made a little bit of a mess, but we've got the insulation in and the vapor barrier, so we're ready to go with our uh, live edge siding on the inside. We're putting doors or uh, wood around all the doors and all the windows. Brody, come here. Right. Come here Andy, come here, well, you boys like the new floor in the house? <laughs> I think they like it. So anyway, we're going to get our windows and our doors in today and get it all closed in. And then probably put a dehumidifier in there. But we're going yeah, to put a inside. yeah for the inside we're going to try to put a de dehumidifier in there and speed it up a little bit anyway we'll get back with you later Don't yell at me or anything, we're filming. Do <laughs> you want it on here or on the bottom of the board? Right here. Just on this? Yeah. That goes all the way to the edge, right? Yep. What are we doing, Andy? We're putting tape down there. It's probably needed along the edge. Yeah. Too. Long the edge. Can't hold it back, boys. About this way? Yeah, probably about like that. Because I want my gap. I guess my gap can be tight anyway. Each. It's going to pull down before I screw it. When you cut your own wood on the mill, sometimes pieces want to warp a little bit on you. But that's okay, we're going to make her go down.
eight, so that is thirty-four. Look at that, boys. Hold her down nice. Now there. My little Craig, I think how you say it, I've got a whole kit of using these, but this is how I'm gonna use this one to tie this board to this one. Cause you can't screw this to your logs cause the log has got to shrink. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna screw this. Kind of a neat little setup. I bought it out of a sale years ago. You just do like that. I'll show you here. See the nice little hole it puts in there? You just screw it down. You gotta that'll work. be covered up by the other trim. Yeah. Yep. Yep. A lot of people were asking us how we could put these windows in after we already had everything done. And that's how we were planning on doing it. I know it didn't make much sense at the time. And but he showed you in an earlier video. Why don't you show him that again, though, how the slot works? Oh, yeah. This slot right here. You got to cut your slot in the end of the logs. Uh, we learned that in, in the very beginning when we was doing research. So what I did, I used a piece of angle iron. You're going to have to put it over here. Oh, the, the light? Yeah. yeah. I used a piece of angle iron, and I put on the back side of it. And so that'll go in my slot. Logs will shrink and this just stays there. That's, a, that's what's going That gonna... keeps the window stable. Yeah. But it still allows the logs to move. And that's also why you leave, see the gap at the top? Of course, we'll have a board on top of that, but we leave a, a gap. It's already shrank some, but those logs will shrink down until they touch the top eventually. So that keeps yeah, your window you from go. breaking later. You can also use a, some people use a, a one by or a, a two before and just cut a bigger slot and that works also. Yeah. Okay, we're also putting the EMC tape. It's, it's like a foam. You've probably seen it before. We put it between all of our logs. And right now it's real flat, but it expands out to fill whatever gap so it can move with the logs too. They expand and contract a little bit. It's made just for log homes. So you see his angle iron? It's going to go up in there. Yep. And we went in and put the strips of stuff in here to help seal that off because that, that stuff will grow. The tape. 
Hey. You know that stuff. And it is. Do that about like so. And, and it's right. weirdly difficult not to screw that down for some reason. Yeah, you want to screw it into the wall. <laughs> we always did our other houses we built. It's just really hard not to screw it into the wall. But don't do that. Yeah, don't screw it into the wall. <laughs> and this is working really good. Simple as that. And I'm taking these. Slightly. Just a little bit. This guy did a match the rest of the wood. <laughs> long cabin. How straight these logs are. Yeah, everything's so perfectly straight. All right. That's one thing about if you're uh, a little bit obsessive like compulsive, it's really hard to build a log cabin. Yeah. Because you know how many times Lance has had to tell me, it's a log cabin. It's a log cabin. <laughs> now this up here, I've got to cut it out just like this, but I've got a uh, fine tool that vibrates and I'll just follow my mark, cut that out. It has to go all the way up though. Yeah, it's got to go all the way up for the trim. Do I have a trim piece? And we'll have to trim these just a little bit too because. Yeah, these back just a little. The, the boards shrink. Yeah, these boards shrink a little bit after they dried some more. So. Isn't that amazing? I but that's why I have them in the greenhouse. Yep. I was using my greenhouse for a little bit of a solar kiln to help try to dry them out really good. There we go. Because we wanted all of the weird warping and twisting and stuff to happen before we put them up. Alright. Let me put on my top board. Lance's. Putting in the, we're gonna have a double window here, two windows. Oh, that, that moved, I think, babe. Okay. Okay. This is this is the supreme free screw here. Okay. This is a little Craig device. Yeah, you already I'll told me that. Earlier, I told you about. <laughs> and it works really nice. Put that in there and that over there. And your window's in. Well, the window's not. The Window screen. jam. Okay. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the outside. I'll do that right here. And you just make sure you get everything square. And dead on. That one was level already when I checked it, where, yeah. you, where you had it, mm. even though it looked a little funny. Okay. I'm just going to do it right here. I could have 
on the other windows, I'll probably pre-drill all this setting down on the ground. It'd be easier. I don't really need to do it up here like this because I yeah, just, just don't drill into anything else other than... Build the frame on the ground, you yes. mean? Yeah. Well, don't build on the ground, but I'll, I'll drill these on the ground. Right. I don't need to drill them up here. And the air works harder to hold all this because this is just harder. If you can see what I mean. I do see what you mean. It looks a little awkward. It's just a little awkward. You don't need to do that up here. So on the next one, I'm going to have these down here and I'm going to drill them all on the ground. Then I can just set them up, square it up, and it'll be done. I went down and had a power nap. And all this came to me. <laughs> Sometimes that helps. Sometimes that helps. You sure it was was it the power nap or was it the cold beer you it had might before? Have been the cold beer. Before the power nap. It might have been the cold beer. Oh yeah. So nice. Nice and snug. Well, he would have had this done already today, yeah, but some friends come his up good that. buddy, Mike, that he used to build houses with. I built houses with him for oh, 16 to 20 years. He is a master plumber, and so he came by, him and his wife, to help us do the final figuring out on the plumbing so we don't turn down help from Mike. Nope. Because we're not that great at plumbing. He just walks around and says, you need this. You need a two by three combi, a long sweep, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. And I go, Mike, you're messing with my mind. He goes, why? It's so simple. <laughs> but he's the guy that you gotta love. I've known him for what? 35 years? Yep. At least. It's super nice of him to come out when it's this hot. I know it. He's 87 years old. He's out walking around helping me. In the heat. And he says, when you're ready to go to Lowe's or wherever you want to go get it, stop by the house and pick me up. And he says, I'll get it all for you. I said, okay. Well, he used to work at Lowe's at the plumbing section. So yeah. he knows his stuff. Oh, this is kind of nice up here like this. At least you're in the shade. I know it. That. I like it. I like it. I can't wait to have a window. We're getting ready to put some windows in here. We'll go ahead and screw them in. Oh. And what we're doing, we're getting ready to put the window in. And we're going to use this stuff we used between the logs. At least on the bottom of the window so nothing can crawl under. Then on the top and the sides, we're gonna probably use some caulking because it's or foam. It's it's really close. Follow that. You got good eyeballs. I know.
give you what? One, two, three, four, and then five, six. Oh, I didn't, I didn't drill out to the right size. I can do that after I do this. See if I got a longer bit. Right here. Right. Hmm? Hmm? Yeah. These windows are all full of like a foam insulation. They're all in, every one of them they should be insulated. Here. <laughs> How can I talk now? I can't talk right without uh, my mouth. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Do you want one of theirs that they gave you? No. No? Okay. It's got the wrong bit on it. Oh, okay. I don't have a bit like that right here. Bidding fell out yet. Yeah. Got really good up in there. Ready? You gotta put a bigger hole, don't you? You wanna film this? Oh, you can already do a big hole. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, Look at that. I didn't see you draw the bigger hole. I know, you missed hole. that one. Didn't I you? did. <laughs> yeah, can you This is the first one that I've ever done like this. Yeah, I know. They usually that. have the pre holes in them. Someone on YouTube? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna probably start it straight. It'll go in better. Uh huh, uh huh. Okay. You know what? Uh, that one's gonna be too long. Oh, I ain't done that yet over here. Okay. And this one is in, lady. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. So that should be it. Now all we got to do is cut the trim. Right. You're gonna put them all in first before we do trim. Yeah, I'm gonna do trim last. Okay. Looky there. That looks good. All right. Let's in there. Back up here. See if I can do this without falling down. Show you what we got. Looky there. Got a window. We got a window.
right there on. Ah! When I measured that, it was just about right. You know, it's like a cut off quarter inch. Just a little off on it. Guys, we got all the windows in. Let me show them to you. Got them all put in. Look. They even shut. <laughs> but now tomorrow, we're going to cut our trim. We'll put our trim on and get all this closed back in and get insulation up there. This is where, remember guys, you got to let it settle forever so many inches and so on green, on green lumber it's one inch for every 16 inches if it's dry lumber i don't know what it is you'll have to look it up so one inch for every 16 16 inches all right so we got the big window in where the tub's going to be both windows over there and then the front window so all we got left to do tomorrow is the front door and then we'll put in the uh, sliding glass door over here. And the trim. And the trim. Get everything trimmed out. Trim look pretty. The and then we'll be close to staining after we get the gable closed in up here. Haven't done that yet. Well, we're going to build the wall. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We haven't done that because we've got to build the wall around in the bathroom first. Anyway, that's where we got to today. Again, appreciate you guys all watching. Show you a good looking face there. <laughs> Sweaty. sliding glass door. These we had to make a bigger notch than the windows because we were running electrical on one side. So he's putting two angle irons in there to hold it. You can also make a bigger a bigger groove and use a two or four or a two by two. I'm going to take off a little bit more on my planter. We've got a hummingbird that got caught inside the house. He just he himself wore himself out. out so much. We're trying to feed him. Pull him out. He got his... You're completely underwater. He's eating. Is he? Yeah. He says, my fuel tank was empty. Well, he's eating like crazy. Poor baby. I wonder how long he was in there. Uh, not very long. I heard him. I thought they were fighting out here because I heard his wings flipping. But it don't take them long, especially if it's a baby. I don't know if he's a baby or not. I can't tell. But they got, he was just exhausted. He is exhausted. Poor little guy. He's almost going to sleep. Mm -hmm. He's still eating. There he goes. He flew up to inside the cabin. It was hanging onto our big log in the center and wouldn't come down. He kept flying around and you know how birds do. He knows we're helping him. Mm -hmm. I don't think he would have lasted much longer. He's so tired when he's letting us hold him. No, no. <laughs> he's just 
is resting right now. Still, he's trying to eat. Are you still awake, little guy? Yeah, you're waking up. Here you go, you can have some more. It's a better. Yeah, I'm a little bit more alert now. Want some more food? Hmm? All right. <laughs> he took off. There he went. Good. Shower tonight. <laughs> he set the depth of his blade so that it would match up with how deep he needed to go into here. Yeah, yes, I did. Oh, you're just telling them that. Play song to me. <laughs> rest of it with my fine, my fine tool. And then you do the other side, just the same way. No. I'm going to have three inch trim. So now I got to go along and mark, mark on each one of these logs. And then I got to cut this out like I did on the other door back there on the sliding glass door. So that's what I'm going to do next. And then we'll get the front door put in. And then I'll have to trim everything. I don't have nothing trimmed yet. <clears throat>